What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with a very special video and this is a huge happy birthday shout out to my man Rob who is not only a patron member but he hit me up and it is actually his birthday this week. I want to give a huge happy birthday to him but also he wanted me to redo this video. Now this is a video that I made four years ago plus. It's been a long time since I made this video so I think it is about the right time to make this video again. We have not made this video I think since we like either moved in the, old, the, the house that we previously lived in and like different stuff like that man but today we're going to be discussing my favorite wwe action figures to play with or pose around man so this goes for like any action figure that i like to grab and just pick like you know i'm just chill i don't know if anybody can relate to this you can let me know down in the comment section below but you'll just be chilling at the house chilling in the office chilling in your figure room or whatever man you're just laying there and you look at a figure and you're like damn i'm gonna pick that guy up and i'm gonna pose him around so this goes for a lot of figures right i'm not included so this is the rules man i'm not including like marvel legends or sh figure arts or anything that's not wwe we figure related and I'm not even including AEW figures that maybe could be its own its own video maybe I should have done wrestling action figures all together in the same video but I felt like WWE in its own right man I mean it's been four years since we made this video so I went with the cream of the crop man I went with the top figures the top level figures and again no AEW included only WWE featured in this thing man so I'm gonna take you through my favorite WWE action figures to pick up and pose around randomly or play around with pose around with etc I think the Word play does work in that instance. And this plays around like guys, my favorite guys to fed with, my favorite guys to pose around in the ring, man. So let's shut the hell up. Let's dive into it, man. I did not include any previous figures, I don't think, besides one. I think there's one figure that I included that was on that previous list. Actually, there's supposed to be two, but I'll explain that as we get into it. But let's shut the hell up, man. Let's dive into my personal favorite WWE action figures to play with in my collection, of course. Now, starting out first, man, we have one of the, I think this is the best figure of 2021, or it was, it was one of the top figures of 2022 or 2021, man. It is the Damien Priest figure, man. And I don't even like Damien Priest, for real. I don't really, you know, I think he's okay. I think he fits well in the Judgment Day and stuff like that. But his figure is incredible. Now, it's kind of crazy because in that first video four years ago, I did say, dude, if they added double-jointed arms to all these figures, it's over with. And they, I mean, they did that, man. They added double-jointed arms. I think we were only like two or three series deep into the Ultimate Edition line, but this guy is immaculate. He's on ball joints. He has a great articulation, double jointed arms. I mean, what else can you say? I don't even like Damian Priest and his figures on here. So that can kind of tell you how damn good that figure is. I will pick him up and pose him around. You can like swing, kick guys in the face. It's a good time, man. Kind of reminds me of like the Toy Biz Dennis Rodman figure, if anybody owns that one. Next up is a women's figure. We have the Shotzi Blackheart from Elite 95. This figure is immaculate. Now, I do have to add a little, you know, a little asterisk there because I did remove the knee pads. Removing the knee pads allows for the double jointed knee and she poses around great. Double jointed knees. She does have boot rotation, so you do get that lower leg cut. She's got double jointed arms. She's very toyetic, like the head sculpt. This is a very great piece, man. I mean, what else can you say? This is a great piece. I, I like the Shotzi Blackheart figure a lot. And I actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and just dive into a couple more women's figures that we have featured here in this list. Now, again, this is the cream of the crop, man. And I call myself trying to get the best of the best. And I went with the Ultimate Edition Alexa Bliss. This figure is super underrated. It, it is immaculate. If we ever do figures that are slept on again, if we do an episode two of that, which if you guys are interested in another episode of that, let me know down below. But this figure right here is simply ridiculous. It's like a two-in-one. It poses around fantastic. It looks just like her. It poses around well, like we said. Got really unique articulation. She has lower shin cut or boot rotation. She does have these shoes here with a good ankle rocker. She has the toe pivot. I feel like her feet are a bit big, but this is figures that I like to pick up and pose around. You can get her into some really unique poses. This is a really fun women's figure, and I think the Alexa Bliss Ultimate is super slept on, and it's a great figure to pose around. So if you, do, if you guys do not have that figure, I recommend and picking it up. Getting some females into your roster is a big thing. Now this next one is supposed to be the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey. This is the Top Picks Elite. And this one does not get the job done. If you guys own the Top Picks and you own the Ultimate Edition, you will know that the Ultimate Edition is better, man. And this one has better, like, paint apps. It has a better attire. It's not as, you know, it's not as plain Jane as the Ultimate it is. I like the shoes and everything. But this figure does not pose around like the Ultimate. The Ultimate is its own thing. And I know it's pinless. I know it has these different things going on. I couldn't find my Ultimate Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey amongst the chaos that is this office right now. So that makes me sick, but this is supposed to represent the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey. If you guys do not own the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey, go grab it, man. Her figures are probably going to go up in price a lot, too, because she is probably leaving WWE now. I think she's done, so that is something you definitely want to get your hands on. It is immaculate. It is the best. Next up is the Elite 103 Roman Reigns. Now, this is also supposed to be my, like, pick-fed custom MDT champion Roman Reigns, because that's the figure I really like to pose around, double-jointed arms, different things, but 
the Elite 103 is good. I think it just it looks great. The double jointed arms really fit nicely. And I hate the shield legs. I really do. And that's why I'm talking about the MDT Champion version with like the Uso shorts and stuff like that. So that's really what this is supposed to be. Again, I couldn't find it. I, I mean, what do, you, what do you want, Brad? I couldn't find it. Next up is the Ultimate Edition Kane. I mean, this has got to be one of the best Kane action figures ever made, man. It's just really, dude, these Ultimates are just so fun, man. When you it, it imply the, the butterfly joints here, you're able to like get such a good like stretch out here. You can hit the big boot. He's got the double jointed knee in there. He's he's not like buttery smooth. Like if he had, if this guy had ball joints, he'd probably be illegal because he would be so damn nice to pose around, but he's still pretty fun to pose around. He's just so menacing. Towers over other characters. Really fun to pose around. I have uh, enjoyed this Kane Ultimate a lot. It's actually why it's one of my favorite Ultimate Editions that Mattel's done. So that is the Kane Ultimate Edition on my list. Next up kind of goes without saying, man. It is the SummerSlam Elite Dolph Ziggler. Now this is immaculate for a lot of reasons. Dolph Ziggler's figures were good before they added double jointed arms. You add the double jointed arms and it's all over with, man. The, the They're just fantastic. If anybody owns a Dolph Ziggler, this body mold right here is some of the best posability you can get out of a Mattel Elite. The double jointed arms, tight waist, he's got ball joints, he can super kick the hell out of you, boot rotation, I mean, dude, any guy that super kicks people or spears people, I know he doesn't spear people, but the double jointed arm allows for a better zigzag, it's just great. One of my favorite Mattels this year, easily, I think it was my number one favorite figure so far when we did our top 10 countdown. Will that remain by the end of the year? We will have to see. Next up, we have a couple Jeff Hardy figures. We have the Top Talents Jeff Hardy, and we have the Ultimate Edition. Now, both of these guys have double jointed arms, but what makes the Ultimate better is because he has the butterfly joint, which I really like. Now, he doesn't have drop-down hips, which people, you know, have their own things about. It does have the toe articulation, but both of these guys are immaculate. You can't really go wrong with it. I know this is a head swap, but the Ultimate Edition Jeff, he has a really fun move set. The double-jointed arms are nice. I'm really looking forward to an AEW Jeff Hardy, which I guess we will see at a later date. Hopefully, that's, you know, we'll, we'll get some more AEW figures coming soon, but, and if you guys want to see an AEW figure list like this, let me know, but those two Jeff Hardys had to be on my list. Next up, we do have Kevin Owens, a guy that's on ball joint really fun move set. You guys know that I love Kevin Owens. So, dude, just having the addition of these double jointed arms really just changes the game for everybody, man. And also, he's a super kick guy. He uh, His legs are fun to pose around. Now, the only thing that can make him better is I think they need to get rid of like the rubber shirts and give him cloth good shirts with an articulated torso. But I guess, you know, that remains to be seen. But I do love posing around a damn good KO figure. Another figure that just feels immaculate in the hand is going to be the Apollo Crews from Elite 87. But I never got the the chase figure. I definitely need to get the chase, but a great formula, great double jointed arms, ball joints. He does use the same thighs as a Dolph Ziggler, which is probably why he's so damn nice, but he really is fluent, man. Posability, kick assery. He, he's a beast. I love this Apollo Cruise. Really underrated figure. People sleeping on this one as well. I can tell you that right now, Brad. Next up is an easy top figure of the year. It is the Elite 102 Gunther figure. Holy shnikes, man. Brand new torso, buttery smooth joints, ball joint legs, double joint jointed arms. Just such a great figure, man. Such a great figure when you include all the details. Now, this is supposed to be just figures that I enjoy to pick up and pose around because they're so just buttery smooth to play around with. And that's this figure, but when you can include some different things to add to the figure, right? It's a great head sculpt. You include the accessories, things like that. I mean, that is what makes figures the best of the best, and that is with this Gunther, man. I mean, look at that pose right there. The arms behind the back. Just a freaking G. That Gunther figure is so good. If you own it, you already know what I'm talking about. Next up is a figure that was in Included in that last video four years ago, it is the Elite 35 Luke Harper. This guy is one of the most underrated WWE Elites ever made. He is so fun to pose around, and I know I fixed him up. I cut off his rubber shirt. I added a custom black, you know, tank top and Elite 66 head sculpt. We did some modifications, but at the base level, still just completely earth-shattering figure. This is so good. Everybody, if you don't want a modern like Brody Lee, man, make this version of Brody Lee. This is great. This Luke Harper right here, this fix up is better than any modern Brody Lee, I'd say. I, I love this version that we uh, created in the lab. That guy's a beast. Next up is going to be Elite 99 Matt Riddle. I love Matt Riddle figures, man. They're very fun. I like the formula. Updating the arms from the Kalisto arms was a huge upgrade. The double jointed arm. I like the thickness here. They give him lower shin cut. You guys know I'm a big stickler for lower shin cut. They easily could have just done like Montez Ford or Elite 107 Finn Balor or Ultimate Edition Usos where they just connect the full leg. No lower leg cut. They gave him the lower leg 
leg cut. He's got the ankle rocker here. He comes with immaculate accessories. He's very fun to pose around, and I, I love Matt Riddle, so I went with Matt Riddle here in my favorite figures to pose around. Just a really great guy. If they didn't have that shin cut, he probably wouldn't have been here, but he gets he, he passes the test. Next up is our updated Usos in the joggers here. Now, these aren't the Ultimates. I did not include the Ultimates because they don't have lower shin cut, and I know these guys don't either, but for some reason, I like the Elites better than the Ultimates, I think. I think it's the ab crunch, really, but I, I mean, I do like the Ultimates. I guess that's not really fair, but I do like the gear and everything like that, but I had to include the Usos. Whether it's the Ultimates or the Elites, the more I think about it, I actually, you could do the Ultimates. You could, you could swing the Ultimates. Neither of them have the lower leg cuts, so that really doesn't play a role in it, but I do think you need to give the Elites their flowers. They're kick-ass as well. Next up, we have the Legend Shawn Michaels figures. Now, you could include the long pants Shawn Michaels. They're also very fun to pose around, but I like the tights versions as well, man. Don't leave out the tights versions. They're both on ball joints. They both have the same style arms. They both have the same torso, and uh, I, I definitely, I do like the zebra gear here, but I just find myself picking this guy up and posing him around. I just like a good super kick, man. Just gah! kicking somebody's teeth down their throat, man. Nothing beats that. So, anybody that does a super kick needs ball joints, and uh, I mean, Dolph Ziggler has it. Shawn Michaels has it. The Usos have it. The Young Bucks AEW figures have it, so that's a good sign. You know, you gotta have that in there. Kevin Owens has it. He does a super kick, so it is good that Mattel pays attention to that. Next up, we do have the Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan. Now, you guys will know I'm not the biggest Hulk Hogan guy of all time. However, I do enjoy his figures a lot, and I do I do like collecting his figures. They're very colorful, you know, they get all the, they check all the boxes. He's fun to pose around, kind of, you know, very nostalgic to pose around as well, and this Ultimate is a perfect representation of him. You know, you get the butterfly joints in here, you do all the different stuff, man. I would love to see a five-star classic with a Hulk Hogan versus a damn John Cena and a pick fed or something like that, man. That is something that I would love to see, so I don't know. That, that may be down the pipeline one day. I don't know, but Hulk Hogan's very fun, man. Fun guy to pose around. He's got some unique poses going on. Next up is the Cody Rhodes Elite 101. Now, this is kind of a fix-up. You know, did some different stuff to it, but gold boots on there. Doesn't matter. The base figure is immaculate, and you'll have to know this is the same Dolph Ziggler like formula, pretty much. Same Dolph Ziggler formula, except the boots are switched. So, that just tells you that Dolph Ziggler formula, really poseable, man. Really, really poseable. Ball joints, nice thigh size, great formula, poses around great, looks immaculate aesthetically. Just a guy, since he came back, man, I pick up his figures a lot and pose them around, and I find myself posing around the Elite more than the Ultimate, and uh, that is why the Elite is on here, and the Ultimate is not. Next up is going to be Elite Top Talents Bobby Lashley. Fantastic piece right here, man. Any guy that comes out and spears the hell out of people, seek and destroy as it reads here. He's on ball joints. Fantastic formula. This is kind of like that Triple H formula. Beefier legs, you know, got the nice boots in there with the straps. Dude, little kid me would cry for these Bobby Lashley Elites we get nowadays, man. God, I, I love me some Bobby Lashley, man. I know I trolled a little bit with, like, Bobby Trashley. Just because he can't cut a promo, but damn, his figures are super nice. and throws me back to SVR 06 running the damn season mode, you know what I'm saying? I used to love Bobby Lashley a lot as a kid. Next up, we have the Elite 91 RVD. This is one of my favorite Mattels of all time. Tiger Stripes, I mean, it, it, just super fun moveset, right? RVD has one of the best movesets of all time. Very unique in the ring. Gotta be a top 10 in-ring guy just in terms of entertainment, man. Every time this guy moves around the ring, you're like, damn, what the hell was that? He's just all over the place. Similar to a Ricochet or something like that, even though they have the their own styles. You know, Van Daminator, Frog Splashes, the flips and kicks, the rolling thunder. Just a fun guy to pose around, man. And then you get the double jointed arms for the RVD pose. I mean, what are we doing here, man? This right here just beats all the A. This is classic. Gotta love a good A RVD figure. Next up is Easy, man. This is, I, I don't know if it's for certain. I want to say it's my favorite of all time of this character. Rey Mysterio Top Talents Macho Man gear. I think this is my favorite Rey Mysterio action figure ever made. It is just so perfection from the head sculpt to the attire to the posability to the cleanliness double jointed arms ball joint legs double jointed and you guys know that these like small figures this actually makes me this actually reminds me the build a figure Dominic Mysterio should absolutely be on this list but this Rey Mysterio right here if I had to pick like this is this is easily a top 10 favorite Mattel of all time I just love the color palette how gr like great it looks of the character this is a piece right here man if you don't own any Rey Mysterio pick this one grab this one man Damn, the pink gloves. I mean, it's just giving me MDT vibes. Fantastic pose. It's like they made this guy thinking of me, is kind of what I think of this Rey Mysterio. That is one of the best ever, man. This piece right here is so damn good. Next up, we have a piece that, again, I think they were thinking of me when they made it, it feels like, man. This is the Elite 104 AJ Styles. Forever we wanted an AJ Styles with this torso. They finally gave it to us. Now, he's not perfect by any stretch. I think giving him the Sin Cara legs, like thighs to the, to the knee, would be better because he's on ball joints. He would have 
have a little bit thicker thighs, it would be a more complete formula, but this is just amazing, man. Double jointed arms, Sincara torso, great head sculpt. I mean, I find myself picking this guy up a lot. Uh, if I find this guy at retail, he's out, he's he's coming to my house. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm grabbing it. This is just such a good piece. I love the Elite 104 AJ Styles. That almost made, I was on my knees when they showed me that figure. When I saw that figure, I hit my knees in my own kitchen because they made that figure, man. So that right there is a huge piece for me. Next up is going to be the Elite 92 Adam Cole. The original Adam Cole was also on my list, but giving him the double jointed arms and fixing up his legs and just a, just a great guy to pose around. Another guy that has a great move set as well. Adam Cole, one of my favorites in AEW. One of my favorites ever since I saw him, man. He's just, he's just so fun. He's a great figure. The Elite 92 is his best one. I mean, the Chase is obviously up there as well, but the Chase is probably better right in the camo, but I still like the Teal. The Teal's really unique. You don't see that a lot. I love Adam Cole. Love that figure, man. Great posability. Double jointed arms. You can't beat it. Next up are the modern suited figures, man. We have the Doc Hendricks build a figure. Now, this is a Seth Rollins, of course, but the double jointed suited arms with these legs... I mean, dude, he can pose around fantastic. You guys know that I love suited bodies. I love figures that are not in the wrestling gear. You know, the AEW figures do a really great job of that. And it kind of plays off of this next figure. But the Farmer Brock Lesnar, man, and I'm not just talking about the three-pack, but the Elite 99, this one right here in the overalls, such a unique look, man. And they pose around so damn good. They have these unique sculpts. They feel immaculate in the hand. And I could probably like the suited body better just because it could pose around just a little bit more, I would say. But these two are some of the best that you can see, Man, that modern body with the double jointed arms. You get the Brock with the farmer Brock overalls. These two are so damn nice. I, every time I see it, if I if they if I catch them out of the corner of my eye, I pick them up and pose them around. It's just the way it is, man. Those are great. And then we're coming into our final three. Now these are not in any order of any sort, but we do have three Ultimate Editions. And the Randy Orton Ultimate Edition is a figure I find myself picking up a lot. I love that you can do the RKO much more fluent now. I love that you have that butterfly joint. Having an Ultimate Randy Orton was something we asked for for a really long time. Time. And finally having it, you know, everything like that. I find myself picking this guy up and posing him around a lot. So the Randy Orton figure definitely had to be on my list. I, I, I just really enjoy posing him around. His elites are great, but adding that butterfly joint really, really touches him up and makes him even more sweet. So... The Randy Orton Ultimate is, is absolutely on my list. Coming in before we end the video, we do have the Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins. I feel like this is pretty cake, man. I mean, Seth Rollins is one of my favorite guys. Anybody that's one of my favorite guys is going to be on the list probably more than likely. Like, a guy that's not on this list is Finn Balor, one of my favorite wrestlers as well. But we don't have really, like, I didn't want to use the same Finn Balor. And his new figures, the Ultimate Edition, is super dated now. It doesn't have ball joints. And then his Elite, what was it, like 97 figure or whatever the hell it was? It had Daniel Bryan legs, so he didn't have ball joints either. And it just, God, it just makes me sick. I really wish they would just use the Cody Rhodes formula and then switch the lower legs. That's what they need to do for, for, for Finn Balor, to be honest. But this figure is so good. I mean... A perfect representation of Rollins. Great formula. Poses around fantastic. The new formula with the beefier looks and the torso and the butterfly joints, the double jointed arms. This Seth Rollins is so damn good. Not even throwing in all the accessories. The Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins is a superstar. And then the last figure we have to cover, uh, you may already know what it is, but it is personally, I think, my favorite Ultimate Edition of all time. It is the Ultimate Edition 15 Brock Lesnar. This figure right here will absolutely, you'll wake up in the middle of the night, look down your bed, and this guy's just going to be standing there at the end, ready to beat the hell out of you. Look at this guy. How seamless is it? He's super poseable. I mean, he looks like a perfect figure representation of Brock Lesnar. Look at this guy right here. Look at the seamless torso. It just feels like this figure was made separate than every other figure. It feels so good in the hand. It just makes me want to launch him. I don't know, man. It's just epic. Just an epic piece. I I love this Brock Lesnar figure. It is uh, it is one of my favorite Mattels of all time. De definitely up there on the Ultimates list. Guy is just fantastic. And that is just simply from an action figure perspective. The the plastic quality just feels great. He poses around fantastic again. You get the you get the butterfly. You get the double jointed arm. You can do all the different things. <laughs> well, I mean, look at this guy. What are we doing? He's going to kill you. Anyways, that is my list. That is my list of the best WWE figures to play with. They're just my favorite guys that I like to play with. 
it with. Uh, I mean, dude, what a list. I, I love all these figures in their own way. I'm sure there's probably a few more that I could add in there, but I tried to think of the cream of the crop, man. The figures that are that are updated. I didn't want any figures that are repeated unless they really deserved it. In an Ultimate Edition, Ronda Rousey, a Luke Harper, you know, things like that. However, I mean, dude, this, this list of figures, if you were on the fence about any of these figures, like you don't have these, but you're like, maybe I should buy that, or maybe I don't want to buy that, or I'm going to wait on this one. You have my seal of approval on all these guys. This is the list. This is the best. These are the cream of the crop right here, man. If you are a fan of action figures, you just want to pick them up and pose them around, this is a good list right here that you're going to have a lot of enjoyment out of. You're going to be like, damn, that feels really good in the hand. That is like my my signing card, I guess, would be like that seal of approval or just a fig. If I tell you that it feels immaculate in hand, then that is like the, uh, you know, that's like my signature on it. So anyways, man, that is pretty much going to wrap up my favorite WWE action figures to play with. Really glad to update this video because I know that it's been a really long time and you know you know when you've been around a long time you can you can go back and redo some of those videos that need updates and I think this is one of those videos man but that is gonna wrap up this video man hope you guys did enjoy before we get out of here a huge shout out to Rob again and a happy early birthday to him hopefully he enjoyed the video man but another huge shout out to all of our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel he is a patron member so another huge shout out to him and the rest of our patron army you guys are the absolute best always appreciate you guys man thank you guys so very much for your continued support but that is gonna wrap the video up hope you guys did enjoy I'd love to know down in the comment section below where you guys stand on all these figures and all those different things man what are some of your favorite figures to play with all those things let me know down below but i'm getting out of here follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i'll see you guys next time have a blessed one and i'll catch you later